We want to thank our Patreon supporters for making this video possible. This scope is currently on sale for $90 on eBay and Amazon. The package includes this red laser and also a red-green reflex sight. While we're not going to be testing out this reflex sight in this video, I just wanted to show you this because it is included with the package. Our main focus will be on the scope itself, so as a wise man once said, let me show you its features. Now this scope does have an adjustable focus on the eyepiece, which is good. This also has a battery powered illuminated reticle in green and also red, and you can also adjust the brightness levels of these. The elevation and windage adjustments are an open style, no dust caps, no screwdrivers to mess with. I really like that feature. Rather than using scope rings, the mount is actually part of the scope. It's all forged together, so it's a very solid design. This scope has adjustable zoom from 4 to 12 power. And looking down the scope, we could see how that actually looks. For this test, we brought out once again our good friend Nick. We'll call him a Marine civilian because when you say he was a former Marine, people get all upset about that. Nick brought out his beautiful FN Herstal SCAR 17S, often called the SCAR H. Instead of mounting this scope on something that shoots 5.56, I wanted something with a little more kick, something in 308. This particular rifle has a reputation of being very abusive to optics. Not just because of the recoil, but because the heavy bolt slamming forward is similar to the abuse an air rifle does to a scope. Getting closer. That's it, it's bullseye. Right, ready? I'm ready. Two weeks ago, we didn't have this concrete out front. So you're gonna have oh, really? You didn't, that wasn't here before? No, no. That's right at the, right in front of the house. It's been about like... Is that like 12 o'clock or? That's about, about 2 o'clock here. Two oh, okay. Two oh, sure. range improvement project. I'm, I'm looking at the, the hole in the target. <laughs> After Nick sighted in the scope at 25 yards, we again retorqued the mounting bolts on the scope. He then began shooting at 100 yards in five shot groups, each time retorquing those mounting bolts again and making minor adjustments to elevation and windage. Once we were 100% certain that the, everything was tight, solid, and nothing was moving around, then these are the 10 shots that we took. So there were quite a few other shots that we didn't show you that Nick took, but Nick will be talking about that and giving us his analysis of what he thinks of this scope. Now bear in mind, Nick told me that he thought the scope would break after the first shot. What's going on guys, it's Nick Tough Leather Mouse, and today we tested the Terminus Optics 4 12 by 50 and we decided to test on a SCAR Heavy made by FN, which fires a 762 by 51 millimeter and we used this ammo right here, which is the Aguila, or Aguila, however you say that. <laughs> so what happened was we sat it at 25 yards away, and then I put a, about a 15 shot group at 100 yards. My first five rounds were over here. These five rounds right here, one, two, three, four, five, I don't know what that is. But we figured, okay, I gotta go to the right now. So I adjusted to the right, and what happened was it came too far over here, and I think what, I think this screw right here became loose because my next five shot group was down here. Oh wow. One, two, three, four, five, right here, which is very strange. So I saw that, I set the situation, I came back, I tightened this back up, then I got this 10 round group right here. So, at 100 yards, the SCAR H, an expert marksman from the Marine Corps, you're getting about, if I had to guess, that's about a three, three and a half inch group, maybe a four inch group, at 100 yards. So, 
pass or fail, I would say this thing passed as far as functionality goes. So it will not break on a SCAR if you're worried about that. But if you want to put on an AR or anything like that, it'd be perfectly fine or 22, perfectly fine airsoft gun. Really good. So other than that, thanks for having me out and uh, it's a good test. So to, to prove that it wasn't the shooter. Or the ammo. Or the ammo. This yeah. is a grouping at 25 yards away with iron sights. So I know not that far away, but still. This gun, you translate that to about 100 yards away. We're looking about open up maybe a couple inches. So two and a half, three inches is what you should expect out of a rifle like this. So with that ammo and that scope, not too bad. We saw that one over here about, about this big. Not too bad. Not perfect, but acceptable. If you're interested in this scope, you can find out more on Terminus Optics website. While you can buy the scope for $120 from that website, they do have a list of what they call authentic sellers on eBay and Amazon. So when you buy from these trusted sellers, you know that you're getting an authentic product and it also includes their warranty. Yes, these have a warranty on them. And for your convenience, I have a link in the description. I want to thank our patrons, our generous Patreon supporters, for allowing us to create this video. We spend over $100 in just materials, gas, uh, ammunition, range fees, targets, all that stuff. And we couldn't have been able to afford that without your support. And it really humbles me when someone can donate even a dollar a month. That is very generous to me. And if you don't want to support me, hey, that's fine. But there are other channels out there that will need your support. Otherwise, they're going to go away. Now, off the top of my head, channels that really need your support are Nighthawk and Light, Periodic Videos, CN Arsenal always needs your support. Uh, even York's Brave. So if you have a channel you absolutely love and they have a link to their Patreon, click on it. Now if they don't say how much they're making a month or per video, but they have like 5,000 plus Patrons, those guys are probably making between fifteen and $20,000 a month off Patreon alone. They probably don't need your help as much as these other guys.